When we're talking Super Bowl, we're talking the big game. And when we're talking the big game, Super Bowl 50 is going to be the biggest game of them all. It's going to generate more revenue on a single day than any other sporting event in history. My calculation tells me that about $620 million in revenue is going to be generated from Super Bowl 50, primarily from four sources. The biggest source is media, which consists of broadcasting and digital. This year, the ad rate for a 30-second spot of the big game is $5 million. That's up from $4.4 million last year. Overall, media revenues are going to hit about $375 million. The second biggest source of revenue for the big game is licensing. Talking about shirts, sweatshirts, caps, all that stuff that people are going to buy to commemorate going to Super Bowl 50. Licensing revenues for the big game to the NFL should be in the neighborhood of $145 million. Also, the NFL is going to bag a rich bounty from tickets and concessions. Over 70,000 people are going to flock to Levi Stadium to see Super Bowl 50. The face value of tickets will range from $500 to $3,000. We use the face value of the tickets, not what they go for in the secondary market, where they're marked up considerably because it's the portion of the face value of those ticket sales that actually goes to the NFL. With concessions and those ticket sales, the NFL stands to take in about $88 million from Super Bowl 50. Finally, there's the Pepsi halftime show with Coldplay. The NFL, based on my estimate, talking to my industry sources, will bag about $12 million from the halftime show. Add it all up, the NFL is going to rake in $620 million from this year's Super Bowl, the 50th in its history.